It really hurt my head. I beat you, Karen! Maybe, but it doesn't make me happy at all. God, my head. Oh, I tried my best to fight back the tears that well up in my eyes. That's when I noticed that there are other students gathering around us. No, I take a better look. These aren't students. These aren't even human. Whatever they are, they're only shaped like people. I was so absorbed in the fight that I didn't pay attention to them. I vaguely remember seeing them while we were fighting. What are they? They look like people's silhouettes. Could they be shadows? Still, they're not attacking me. Is this some stage effect Teddy's doing? I try to think about this, but in the end I turn to Yukun, who's down on his knees. It's no use. I can't think of anything to say right now. And even though my mind's a mess, Teddy shows up on the monitor and starts being a, to being a total ass. That was an amazing up fight. yours, Teddy. Good job in defeating Sensei Chie-chan. That's our number one fight. Oh, my head. What is this? Is this really what you want? Why did you make me fight him? Oh, but I'm sure you know why, Chie-chan. Be looking forward to your next opponent. The next opponent is opponent is Yosuke. You can tell it is really hot here. Holy crap! The monitor turns off. The students around us seem to have lost interest. They leave the area too. What does he mean? I know. I know why we're fighting. <laughs> I almost rush over to help stand up, but my feet stop. I still don't know how to deal with what he said earlier. But I need to talk to him, yeah. My mind's still all jumbled, but I have to say something. Um, I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't hold back at all. It must have hurt. But, but come on, weren't you being a little too hard on me? Yeah, same to you. Although, I kind of get why you'd say that. Huh? Yukun sounds like he's pouting as he scratches his head. Huh? Wait a second. Shouldn't I be the one pouting right now? Let's sort this out. There's too much going on that we don't understand. Oh, right, right. He sounds calm like usual, which helps me cool down a bit. Yeah, this is the usual Yukun. But then, why was he talking like that before? I still don't know how to deal with that, but he's right. We need to sort out what's going on here. Um, first, the TV world reflects people's hearts, right? This time, it's turned into Yasugami High. If the same rules as last year apply, then someone related to Yasugami High may have entered here. Then... Where does that get us? Nowhere! I don't know, but we're forced to participate in this Grand Prix and fight one another. That host really was Teddy, and Rize-chan's announcing seemed like she was trying to rile us up too. There's no way it could be them. Yukun sounds determined. Hearing him talk with such conviction <laughs> makes me relieve, makes me feel relieved for some reason. Yeah, he's right. Neither Teddy nor Rize-chan would do this to us. Teddy does harass the girls and he's always causing trouble as if everything's a game to him, but he'd protect us with his life when it counts. Rize-chan would too. She's a friend who would do everything she can for us. It's impossible that they, wanna, they want to make us fight our friends like this. Have you seen Yosuke and the others? No, not yet. We all entered the TV together, too. I see. Let's meet up with the others first. We'll deal with this new mystery after that. Right. Yukun is amazing as ever. It's not just that he's always calm and smart, but he helps others figure out what's most important. He and I start walking to the school together. But 
Ow. What's wrong? Yukun suddenly clutches his face and stops for no reason. I wasn't looking beside me. But it sounded like he ran into something. Huh? But there's nothing here, right? He slowly raises his hands and walks forward, and his arms meet resistance in midair. It's like there's a wall right there. But... I got through okay. I wave my arm through the space where his arms have stopped. Yeah, it went right through. There's nothing here. When Yukun sees that, he looks surprised. What does this mean? While he and I look at each other confused, the monitor comes back on. I'm so forgetful. No matter how much you try, you can't go any further, Sensei. Huh? Actually, no one who loses a match can leave. Only the winner can move on. Those are the rules. Comprende? Asshole. The monitor turns off just as suddenly as if it as it turned on. Oh hey! He's watching us, but he doesn't care to listen to anything we have to say. Isn't that selfish? Still, only the winner can move on, huh? If that's not some goofy plot out of a TV show, I don't know what is. What in the world does he want from us? I mean, if there's something like a wall here, then... Persona. He's a nuggie! Ow. Yukun summons his persona and has it slash where he couldn't pass through. I was thinking the same thing, but damn, a little heads up would be nice! I should summon my persona too and see if that helps. Wait, I can't touch this wall myself though. After a number of tries, Yukun ex exhales deeply and shrugs. It's no use. Looks like these rules can't be broken. Then... If I concentrate on attacking a single spot, I may be able to break through. But you can't wait around for that. You'll have to go on without me. It's in your hands now. Huh? You want me to just leave you here? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, so sorry. I'm just nervous. You're better at solving cases and things, so I'm like, can I do this on my own? It really would have been better if I had lost, huh? <laughs> Great. Heh. <laughs> now that I say it out loud, it's true. I mean, he's so much smarter than me and calmer and stronger. So, if you compare him to me, I can't get what he said earlier out of my head. A weak, pitiful person. That's not like you. Weren't you gonna protect everyone? That's when he puts his hand on my shoulder. I look up and he's smiling like like he's trying to cheer me up. Don't worry. Believe in yourself. You can save them. I plus rushing headlong into things is your specialty, right? Hey, that's me. <laughs> but that's what's best about you, Chie. You're honest and straightforward. I know he's just kidding, but I do feel better now. And we don't know what Yukiko or Yosuke are, are doing right now either. Thanks. I'll get going then. I'll be back with the rest of the guys to save you. Just wait for us! If I'm the only one who can go on, then that's just what I have to do. I'm the only one who can do this, so I will do it, because I'm the only one who can. Or something. It kind of makes sense. Everything should be this should be that simple. It should, but it's life. <laughs> I wave one last time back to Yukun before running into the school building. No problems getting inside the school. But where do I go now? Running around aimlessly may be dangerous. I stop and think for a moment. 
Let's see here. The clues I I have right now are Oh yeah, how Teddy shows up how Teddy shows up on the monitor sometimes. That means he's being filmed live somewhere, right? Where could he be doing that? As my mind is running flat out, I catch a familiar figure out of the corner of my eye. That eye-searing combination of blue and red. It can only be blue and red. There's that bear. Ted Teddy? <laughs> what? What the? He didn't even notice me. He just went up the stairs like I hadn't said anything. And he wasn't alone. There was a girl in a Yasugami High uniform with him, but who was that? Rizu chan No, that wasn't her. Ugh. Anyway, I need to go after him. Hey, get back here! Third year, class two, Chie Satanaka. How are things going? I have a message from the general. Your next battle is about to begin, so don't go anywhere. Huh? Despite my anger, oh crap! Despite my anger, I stop when I hear Rizi Chan and a monitor in the hallway turns on. This time, Teddy was in a costume. Wait, what? I thought I'd just seen Teddy, and he wasn't wearing anything like that. How did you change so fast? Simple, that's not Teddy. What are you talking about? I'm the general, so I'm always wearing this uniform. Don't you think I look sharp, Chie-chan? <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, yeah sure. Yukon had said that there was no way Teddy could be behind this, but I really want, and I really want to believe it. But that looks and sounds like Teddy. Ugh! My brain's a mess. Fine, I'll head straight to where you are and ask you in person. Really don't seem to get it, Chan. This is a Grand Prix, and your next battle is coming up. Haven't you been listening? I don't care about your stupid Grand Prix. I don't want to fight anymore. Yeesh! How thick can you be? Don't you know this Grand Prix is for you? For me? What's he talking about? All this fighting is for me? I'm about to laugh, but I get a tight feeling in my chest. I didn't want to hear what he was going to say next, so I forced the conversation onto a different track. Uh, who was that girl back there? Never mind her. Worry more about the opponent coming up. Come on, we're about to get started. I asked that question out of desperation, but it worked. Teddy, Teddy seemed flustered. Seems flustered. Huh? So there's something he doesn't want me to find out. It's either Yukiko or Yosuke. I want to ask him about that girl again, but smoke suddenly floods the area and I can't see the monitor anymore. The last time this happened, Yukun came out of the smoke. Who's it going to be this time then? I see a shadow through the haze. Yosuke? There you are, you Venisonian. Let's do this with everything we've got. Venison. <laughs> Venison. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. What's wrong with loving me? Meat. Wait, that's not what I meant to say. Ugh. You mean you want to fight too? So what else is new? Well, this is the P1 Grand Prix, you know. Since you're training to be a police officer, let me see some of your skills. Yosuke smirks and makes, and makes a sarcastic salute. His expression is so cold and filled with malice. He's making fun of me. And it's happening again. I can't help but be at a loss. Maybe this is a shadow or something? I mean, I don't want to think that Yosuke himself could make that face at me. But isn't it odd that a shadow would want to attack somebody other than the person it's trying to be? Then, then maybe this is the real Yosuke. Hey, let's not do this. Huh? 
You're not gonna show me your kung fu? Well, I guess it is pretty useless. It's not useless! I train myself so I can protect people! When I shout back, he just gets even more obnoxious. Protect my ass. You're just a brat who wants to be a hero. You say you want to become a police officer, but come on. I bet you're not even studying. Just stay home and play pretend. That way you won't get yourself hurt. Cowardly Chia Chan can't face reality after all. That's not. I can't finish that sentence. I can't say that he's not right. Yosuke is saying the same thing you kun said earlier. The weakness in me that I thought I'd overcome last year begins to throb painfully. That's when Rizi Chan laughs over the PA system as if she's watching us right now. This is just like what happened with you, Kun, earlier. That's right. The air around him changed after I fought him. I'm sure it'll be the same this time, too. Actually, that's all I can hope for. I tap the ground with my toes. Yeah, I'm still fast and light. My heart is heavy, but I can't let that stop me now. Fine. Come get me. I'll beat some sense into you. Oh boy. Well, I better sit up for this. <laughs> See, during cutscenes, I'm laying down, kicking back, because all I have to do is dialogue, and then fight scenes come, and it's like, ah, uh, prepare yourself. Oh, my headache hasn't gone away. Yay! No, 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 block, 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 block. No, block. No, 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 no. Damn it, my leg fell. No, stop. No, stop. No, just stop. Oh, ah. My head is killing me. <laughs> Shut up. Don't you hate it where you get headaches on like one side of your head and it just goes all the way on the one side of your head, all the way down the back of your neck? That's what I have right now. And this isn't helping. Does it say my weight is seven kilograms? No! Not bad. Now, will they go for the kill? No, 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 The mic like, keeps falling down. No, block, 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 block. I am blocking. I am blocking this. No. Go, no. Oh, my fingers. 
are hurting really bad. I hope I did. I really hope I. Bam! Damn it! You stupid! Stop! Fuck you, Yosuke! You bitch! No! Stop! 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 I give up. Oh! All right, announcement over. Until next time. Ow! Welcome to the v I wish you good luck. Oh, my head really hurts, man. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? I give up. Like, seriously. What you? <laughs> Being so fucking mean! Block, block, block! Why aren't you freaking blocking? It like doesn't block! See, this SP is awesome to have if I knew how to, if my fingers can move to the buttons to activate this shit. But my, they can't! They really can't! Maybe if I was standing still, but not during a battle. Oh, my head this is making it worse! <sighs> I'm like sweating. This is how bad Welcome this is getting. To the vent. Very well. You don't hit him, but that's not possible at the moment. Damn it! Yes! Whew. Oh my head! I don't think I can do the next battle. My head hurts really badly. Fuck you, Teddy. <sighs> the monitor turns off before I can say anything. 
Before I deal with that bear, I need to deal with Yosuke right here. I mean, I can't just let him insult me. So, how'd you like the taste of my kung fu? Ow, shut up. You just had to keep going on and on about how I've got no convictions and stuff, didn't you? Sure, sometimes studying's a pain, but I still do it. It's not about wanting to be a hero. I'm serious about this. And why'd you have to bring up stuff about Saki-senpai? That's driving the knife in too far. Uh, what are you saying, Yosuke? When were we talking about your convictions? Dude, what are you saying? Why did you start this hero talk all of a sudden? Huh? We both look at each other and cock our heads confused. This happened last time, too. After you, Kun, and I fought, we were confused about what had happened before the fight. What he said afterwards didn't make any sense either. It's like we were having completely different conversations before the fight. I feel like something's been casting a spell on me. My anger drains away when I have the re when I have the realization. Yosuke just shrugs it off and suggests that we talk about sharing what we found out about this place. But Yosuke just acts surprised. I wasn't expecting him to be this clueless. Huh? This isn't Yasugami High? Really? You thought this was the real Yasugami High? Hello? We jumped into the TV together? How could you forget that? I knew he was acting weird from the beginning, but to completely forget that you've jumped into a TV? Seriously, what's going on? Got, ugh, gotten into him? As I stare at him in disbelief, Yosuke scratches his head. Uh, oh, I see. My brain's been kind of scrambled. First I get thrown into this Grand Prix thing, and then you keep rubbing salt into my old wounds. Oh, come on! You did the same thing to me! Hmm? Wait, what's going on? You sound normal now, but before- You wanted to eat me! The same thing happened a little while ago. You can started saying weird things, we fought, and then things were back to normal once it was over. Could this be another one of those rules in this world? That may be it. I snap my fingers when the idea hits me. It's a rule that we have to fight each other. Another rule is that only the winner can move on. Then maybe there's yet another rule about how the situation changes to force us to fight. But who would make rules like that? Well, who makes the decisions around here? Mm -mm -mm. Teddy, who's calling himself the general? Rizzi Chan, the announcer? There's no way either of them would want to make us go through this. Could there be some bad guy out there making us crazy? A certain face comes to mind. That girl who is with Teddy in the stairway. When I asked Teddy about her, he seemed to be avoiding having, having to talk about her. Hmm, this smells fishy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Yosuke. I tell Yosuke about the girl I saw. It appears that he knows who I'm talking about, too. I met that girl, too. Our ponytailed student council president, right? Student council president? Oh, we must be talking about different people. Our president is a guy. Seriously? Dude, the elections were just last week. You can't even remember their gender? Oh, I slipped right through all that. But if that's true... Then is she lying about being the student council president? Why would she do that? I don't know, but I'm positive she's not the real president. And isn't it suspicious that she's inside the TV? Good point. Let's go see what's up, Chie. Yosuke jumps up and starts to rush away, but... Uh, Yosuke! Ow. <sighs> Youch! Face first into an invisible wall. That's gotta hurt. like only the winner gets to go on. Why didn't you tell me sooner? My nose is all flat now. Gah, it's fine. But, man, I can't get through? Damn it. Guess I'm stuck waiting here. Wait! Oh, no. Wh what is it? Yosuke suddenly looks extremely serious. Is there another problem that I haven't noticed? Yosuke can be surprisingly perspective, 
perceptive at times. Maybe there's some new danger. What am I supposed to do if I need to use the bathroom? You seem to have constant bladder problems, man. You really need to get that checked out. That again. Just go pee in the corner. Oh, now I feel like an idiot for assuming the best of him. Well, that's the kind of guy Yusuke is. Oh well, the rest is up to you, Chie. You're the only one who can solve this case and save my bladder. Huh? Oh, right. I don't think that second thing's an actual problem, though. Well, in any case, I'll be counting on you. Sorry, I, I wish I could help you. But I'm sure you can save the others. Y yeah I'll do my best. Make sure you think before you act, okay? Going with your gut isn't that bad, but you tend to lose control pretty easily. Ah, oh, uh, shut up. I'll solve this in no time. Even I know that. When I yell back at him, Yosuke gives me a bright smile. <laughs> that's the spirit. That president girl was headed to the announcement room. I'll be waiting to hear good news from you. Oh yeah, the announcement room. I finally have an answer to the question I was thinking about before this fight interrupted my train of thought. You have to be able to broadcast an image if it's gonna show up on these on the monitors. So they have to be in the announcement room. I think Yosuke and start running. Yukun, Yosuke and Teddy, Re and Rize Chan too? The reason why everybody's acting all weird has to be because there's some bad guy pulling the strings. When I think about it that way, my spirits lift and my footsteps get much lighter. Of course, that that girl's on my list of suspicious people too. It's better to have an objective in mind when going into things, after all. Announcement room, here I come! If there really is a bad guy in there, I'll catch him and get my answers! About this world? Why we're being forced to fight? And what this battle being for me stuff is supposed to mean? 